Chapter 4 Promise Me That evening Dylan and Wade instructed Skye and Jesse on how to secure the cabin against attack. Each of the windows were paired with a steel sheet that covered them quickly and easily. The doors contained bars with the ability to latch and secured them. Wade banged on the front door. This here is a steel door, it's just wood veneer. Ain't no one gettin' in here easy. Dylan lowered a ladder leading to the small, low attic. He hauled up cushions and food for Sky and Jesse, enough to last for a day. You close up this cabin and stay up here tomorrow. Do you really think that will be necessary? The fight, if it comes to that, won't be near us. Sky scanned all the downstairs preparations. Surely the downstairs will be safe enough. Dylan gave Skye a sharp shake of his head. It's close enough. We start stirring them up, and we don't know what'll happen. Necessary or not, it'll make me feel better knowing you and the boy are up here. It's one more line of defense. Dylan wrapped his hand around her upper arm. Promise me you will stay up here. I will. Dylan continued to stare at her as if willing her to understand the importance. I promise, Dylan. We'll stay up here. His eyes narrowed. And this is a promise you'll be keepin'? Sky sighed a little, she was forced to admit she had only a so-so track record with him. Yes, I will keep it. Dylan nodded and let go of her. Stay here, I have something else to show you. When he raced down and came back with guns and ammo, Skye's expression showed her distaste. Dylan barked out a sharp laugh. Too bad, little woman, you're gonna have them ready. Load these in the morning and keep them ready. Skye bit her lip but nodded. She took note as he showed her the lookouts where she could get a full view of the yard. She raised an eyebrow at Dylan. Why do I feel you and Wade have had this cabin army-proofed for a long time? Cause we have. Why? Dylan shrugged and grunted something she couldn't make out as he made his way back down the ladder. The morning brought ten men, a cargo truck, and a plan up to the mountain. Dylan was the lookout and whistled. Skye came out to greet her cousin and to hand out some muffins she baked for everyone. With a determined look on her face, Skye drew Tom aside. Tom listened and nodded. I agree, Skye. I'm hoping for a peaceful resolution, but I have to warn you, I won't be surprised if there isn't. But you're going to try. I'd already planned on it. The clatter of weapons being checked and rechecked filled the morning air. Skye shook her head at Jesse as he went to each person asking to see their weapons. How was she going to give him a peaceful life in all this chaos? With his background, violence may be the first thing he turned to, and she wanted to change that. But the way the world was now, it would be a hard thing to do. Tom waved Wade over and explained his plan. It's fairly simple. We get those sick into the box truck. I agree with Sky we try and get them to agree to it. But if they don't agree, we get them in it by any means necessary. We will start with the least aggressive and work our way up. I want this done legally, so I am deputizing all of you for the day. Let's gather everyone up. I'll run down the order of events in dealing with a group of disorderlies as it was taught to me. Where are you taking them when we're done? Wade asked. I got on the radio last night. There's a containment area for the sick a couple towns over. They've got some of the military watching over it. Reckon it's the best place for them now. Okay then, Dylan said as he picked at his nails, let's get this over with. Tom handed out masks and gloves. Seems a lot of us may be immune to this thing, but I'd rather not take any chances. Wear them in case this ends up in close quarters. As the men piled back into the trucks, Sky and Jesse said goodbye to Dylan and Wade. Dylan watched Skye give a Wade a quick hug and scolded him to be careful, then she moved to him. Skye's concerned green eyes slowly lifted from his chest to his face. She wrapped a hand around his forearm. Please promise me you will be careful. 
I promise, Sky. Sky stepped close and reached her arms around him. She hugged him and laid her head against his chest. Dylan could almost swear his heart skipped a beat. But without a doubt, it began to ache. When she started to pull away, he refused to let her. Not yet. Dylan tightened his arms, avoiding her bruising from her encounter with Calvin. He gazed down at the top of her head. Dylan stayed that way until he heard the banging of car doors closing as the men entered the vehicles. Then whether Dylan was ready or not, it was time to go. He released Skye but took a minute to lift her chin and repeat his promise, I will. Dylan cleared his throat a couple times and glanced from Skye to Jesse. Now you both get in there. I want this house locked up before I leave. Sky and Jesse entered the cabin and secured the door before Wade and Dylan moved. When they knew the woman and boy were as safe as they could be, the men got in Dylan's truck and followed the caravan out of the clearing and onto the road. Dylan clenched his jaw as he watched the little cabin get smaller and smaller in the rearview mirror. He hated the sick feeling in his stomach as he left them behind. 